welcome back to my channel, this is Toaster Gaming, and today we're playing one of the most legendary FPS games of all time, Dragon 3D. So I'm not playing the original version or that newest one that a lot of people don't like. I'm playing Atomic Edition, I think that's people's favorite, isn't it? So, yeah, we'll just go to the stuff. Oh, this game is loud. Okay. So I'm playing this with a source port, obviously. And source port is called Build GDX, I think. I already played a few games with this. Witch Haven I played, and Tech War. And that Legend of Sam Paladins game. And I love this source port. The source port is amazing. Sensitivity is too high, but I think that's because of my mouse. Yeah, it looks nice. But it also looks very similar to how, you know, well, I almost have all I produced. To, I mean, doing like I produced to look. Can't I just shoot this now? I haven't played doing like I'm in so long. Yeah, it's my problem. Everybody should play doing like I'm pretty every year, from beginning to end. Yes, yeah, institute is definitely too high. Yeah, I can just kick with Q. Yeah, I remember that. It all looks so good. The design in this game is so incredible. The developers really pulled off an amazing job. I mean, in the same year, Quake was released, and obviously. When you talk about graphics, Quake, you know, about technical stuff, Quake, no question, but there were people who definitely preferred Dunokin 3D looks over Quakes, and I get that. I mean, it's just so detailed, and also you can interact with everything. And maps, maps haven't looked this realistic since Tech War, I'm kidding, since never. So, you know, Quake looks better in different stuff, but when there's stuff that Quake just can't compete with Duke Nukem 3D. So, thank you Duke. Beautiful. And when the same engine was used for Shadow of Water, which is also a very good game, and for Blood, which is an amazing game that I barely ever played. And then there were a few other games that we're not gonna talk about. <laughs> oh my god, I'm telling you, sensitivity is way too high. I have to... This game is too loud, I can't take this anymore. Oh, I like the dancing. Music, please turn the music down. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. <sighs> that was way too loud. Who's talking? Yeah, I remember as a kid when I saw this, I was like, whoa, you can do that video game. And then there is that level where you see strippers, so. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Let's kick this thing. Yeah, beautiful stuff. No, no, don't close women on me. No, I have to... Oh, that sucks. No, open the woman. <laughs> okay. Yeah, explosions also feel really good, you know? How do I get there? I don't remember. Eh, who cares? Yeah, and people used to play Dunogan 3D online a lot. So, that's a thing I never tried. Ever in my life. Shit. It's really hard for me to move fast when the street is this high, but... Okay, now it's faster, now it's faster, now it's slow... I don't know. Who cares, I'll get used to it. Goodbye. And this game was released very early in the year. I think in February of 96. So, you know, it, it had great six months until Quake was released. So, for six months, this was... The best FPS game. You just couldn't find anything better. Doom? 
I mean, yeah, but Doom was a few years old now, so... Full of the FPS games already played Doom, so... It was Duke Nukem time. And after Quake came out, some people switched to Quake, but when... Probably half switched and half stayed with Duke. But yeah, both were amazing. I don't know, 96. Which other FPS game was released in 96? Mm. Ah, I can't think of anything. Jack's Quest, well... Uh, let's just not compare Jack's Quest to... With Dick Nugan. Why are you shooting at me? Yeah, so Gearbox has well license. I mean, not license. They own Duke Nukem, and they're doing nothing with it. Why? Mm, don't have time to play with myself. Yeah, one of my favorite parts. Yeah, so they finished Duke Nukem Forever, which was a bad game, but I still played that game many times and finished it a few times. For me, it's an okay game. Nothing really good, but nothing that bad. Especially that DLC, the Doctor Who clone, me is is that what it's called? That was a good DLC. And I mean, they could have made new Duke Nukem game. It wouldn't have to be like a super expensive game. Duke Nukem doesn't need best graphics. It just needs fun action. Lots of uh, um, interactions with items, not items, with objects, fun story, not something that will make you cry or make you think, but just something fun but simple about saving babes and saving her from pigs, you know. And what else? Some interesting weapons, like... I won't even... I'm not gonna think about weapons, but like... Tunagam 3D has all these cool weapons. Who wants, uh... Like Freeze Ray, or whatever it's called, or Shrink Ray, and stuff. Just some fun weapons. And obviously, no, no limit to weapons. And it can have regenerating health, I'm fine with that, I don't care. That only makes game faster, doesn't it? Well, no actually. I don't know, do whatever you want with health, I don't care. Put in some hot babes, yep. That's a must. Some strip clubs, yep. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know. And obviously, oh, how could I forget? One-liners. Please. Bring John St. John back. He's doing good. I played Postal 4. He's Postal dude in that game. He's still good. He would definitely pull, pull off Duke again. And I don't know. Gearbox, you have people working for you. You think what to do. Even if we had something old school like that game, Ion Blaster, what it's called? I Ion Fury? Ion Fury. Yeah, so you can even do something in that style, but with Duke. It kinda is a Duke Nukem game, actually. So, you know. Is it gonna explode? Am I supposed to do some kind of combination? I don't remember. I'll just guess. How hard can it be? Wait. <laughs> so, is it combination? I don't remember. How come I haven't guessed it right yet? Oh, I did. Yeah, I remember that I always used to guess it. Just random clicking. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. 
watching building explode like that in 96 it's just pff, my baby is my baby brain so broken i wasn't even born when this game was released it still took me a year to be born wait isn't this where i'm supposed to go game why did you what oh no i think it's the end of the level hey what <laughs> I don't remember. Duke? Well, shit, I don't know. I can go here. So, you know. Yeah, so. I could play this game till the end. I just died. I died in this game. What? Red Light District. I didn't even get to see TTS. <laughs> yeah, I need to move faster. I'm playing like an idiot. So there's also tons of other build engine games, lesser known ones. Iron... Iron Maiden? No, what is it called? It used to be called Iron Maiden. Iron Fury, it also uses build engine. And that's a new game, and it looks beautiful. Uh, but yeah, there's a game called World War 2 GI, made by the same people who made Nam, also known as Napalm. And then there's also... Redneck Rampage. I never played Redneck Rampage, but from what I heard people say that it's really, really bad. What the hell is wrong with me? Why I can't kill this one single monkey? I mean... <laughs> pig? Um, I'm not using items, I'm too lazy. So what was I talking about? I forgot. Sure, I have no ammo. Oh yeah, Redneck Rampage. Yeah, Redneck Rampage sucks. What am I doing? What the hell is wrong with me? Yeah, Redneck Rampage. People said that it sucks. I'd, I'd love to give it a try. And I will, someday. Then there's also... A game where you kill... Osama Bin Laden? I think. With build engine. I never played, but I've seen pictures. So... We'll get to that someday. And there's hunting games, I think. Those first very, very old hunting games. They use this engine. Why no ammo? I want to use my shotgun game. How do I... Oh. <laughs> you can go on steroids. That was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. Okay, so... You know what? I'll post a link in the description to the source port. Obviously, you need to have Duke Nukem 3D, and you can't even buy this version anymore, which is stupid. But Gearbox said no, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, that source port is the best way to play Duke Nukem 3D, and you can play every other build engine game with it. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's no point for me to play more of this game because everybody knows Duke Nukem. I just, you know, I had to. Get that notch on my belt. Because <laughs> um, I'm trying to play at least every important FPS. Somewhat important. So I had to play Duke Nukem 3D. And so it's still awesome. This game aged really well. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And starting now, I can also start playing Duke Nukem 3D mods on this channel. Which is also a good thing. I love that. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.